So the LDS Church supposedly has the actual box that housed the mythical gold plates that Joseph Smith translated to bring us the Book of Mormon. And yet, with all the resources of a multi-billion dollar institution, the Brethren have never thought to run a basic forensic test to detect, oh, I don't know, gold. <laughs> Turns out there are actual scientific methods that can detect trace amounts of gold, even if there's nothing visible left on the surface. You know, stuff like what archaeologists use when examining ancient relics. Fancy that. <laughs> A few obvious options. They could use X-ray fluorescence, also known as XRF, completely non-destructive. It can scan for elemental gold right on the surface of the wood. Or they could use scanning electron microscopy, SEM. Great for detecting microscopic gold particles embedded right in the fibers, like the kind you might get from, say, actual gold plates being shoved in and out of a box. Even if the plates were removed 200 years ago, you know, given back to an angel, <laughs> if they were real and made of actual gold or any other metal for that matter, some residue would still be there. You don't need faith, you just need science and maybe just a little bit of curiosity. So here's a bold idea commission an independent lab, run the tests, film it, publish the results, you know, transparency. Worst case scenario, nothing is found, which is pretty much what's been found with every other historical claim by the Mormon church so far. So no big loss. But hey, if there is gold, that would be a pretty big win for the restoration, right? So go ahead, brethren, put your gold where your mouth is.